Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here, and today, five quality of life tricks and tips for directory opus in five minutes. Let's do it. You may have run into the problem where you download a file and uh, it makes a folder okay. You've got a folder for it. Uh, you extracted the zip, whatever, and inside the zip is a file that is absolute gibberish. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, you know what I'm talking about. What you really want is this to be named the same as the folder, right? That'd be great. Can we just, can we just do that? Eh, not exactly, but uh, it beats going over here and trying to get the name and copying it and pasting it and renaming it. I'm out, I've got a little button down here called Rename to Folder. I'm going to do a quick customize here so you can see what's in there. This is it. Rename file to parent one ignore extension. That's it. That's all there is to it. So now when you select the file and click the button, it automatically renames it to the parent folder name. Trust me, at some point you might need that. All right, next up, some grouping action for you. Let's take a look at this. So I'm in my projects folder for all the videos that I make. I'm going to jump into flat view. So now I have a mixture of MKVs, MP4s, all sorts of different files. And I'd kind of like to see these things more properly grouped. Now there's every single column and any column that you can add. See, I've added a width column here. Uh, any one of these columns can be grouped by. So let's say that you group by name. There's a whole bunch of different possibilities here. First letter, first two letters, first word, blah, blah, blah. We'll just go with the first letter of the name. Now you'll notice, and I'm gonna go ahead and collapse these all. If I can click on it, right? There we go, collapse all groups. Now you can see that all of the groups are by name. So there are 11 files that begin with two, there are five that begin with A, two that begin with B, and so on. There's a million different ways to leverage this, but that's just a real simple way. We'll turn off the grouping. You can group by just about anything, but things like grouping by width would be great. We can go ahead and we'll stop our grouping. I'll group by width. And now you can get an estimate. Like if say you've taken a bunch of mixed files from an event where everybody took a different set of pictures and you kind of want to um, see the sizes of them. So I've got things that are greater than 32 pixels. And by the way, this width works on videos and pictures, right? So I can go in here. Now you'll probably see a lot of them in here because some of these are going to be my covers, right? That I've done or insert pictures things like that. So there's a million and one ways to use this. Modified is even great too, because um, you can actually see uh, the time frames of these files. Um, and uh, right, so now you can see, oh, last year, I definitely need to go in and do a little bit of cleanup in here. Very cool. Next up, this little home button that everybody forgets about. I know I certainly do. Now the home button, as it comes out of the box, will go to your username's home directory. So if I click home and uh, you'll see that my administrator is my username and here's my location with my documents and downloads and everything. I don't know of anybody who needs this, <laughs> right? I mean, does anybody actually use your documents folder? I mean, I everything that's in that documents folder is something that an app put in there or downloads, right? Uh, you might need to get to downloads, who knows, but there's easier ways to get there. My point is, is that the home directory as it is not as, as useful as it could be. Wouldn't it be great if the folder you use the most, which in my case is Monroe World Assets, right? In fact, technically projects is where I tend to spend a lot of time uh, creating projects for my channel. This would be great if I could have this as my home directory. Well, you can't. Right click on the home and say, update home folder. Bam, that's your home folder. Really, could it be that easy? Yes, it is. I'm right back now to my projects. This is a perfect home directory for me. Ah, yes, the uh, command prompt and terminal here. Now, if you're an advanced user, and you probably are if you're using directory opus, you may have occasion to drop into the command line. Sometimes it's to run a command line only thing. Sometimes there's just ways that you know how to do things better in the command line. Inside a file explorer, it's a little more difficult to get to the command line. You have to hold down some qualifier and right click. Here though, you just right click, and uh, PowerShell here, Command Prompt here, Terminal here, uh, all of those um, are available right here with no configuration out of the box. You can dump right to that folder and you can get busy using your powerful command line tools. Folder creation. I probably covered this before, but I think it's worth putting into a, a quick tips video like this. 
If you right click and select new folder, you're going to have a couple of different options here. In my case, I have mine set to create multiple file folders. Um, now, in this case, I could do something like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. You get the idea. Click OK, and instantly I get all of those folders made. Now, I've done this for like MP3 sorting, picture sorting, things of that nature. Um, making multiple folders on the fly is really, really cool. And uh, when you're doing something like 26 of them for the alphabet or a bunch of numbers, it's very, very helpful. The other thing I wanted to show you here is that if you stay in this mode, you'll notice that if you just want to create one folder, right? Of course, if you hit enter, it's going to go down a lot. Uh, but then you'd have to go back to the mouse and hit OK, or you'd have to hit tab and, and hit enter. Uh, it's worth noting that if you select, if you hold down control and hit enter, not only will it create that folder for you without clicking OK, it'll also dump you into the folder. So you're ready to do stuff there. Obviously, if you're going to make a folder, you're probably going to want to do something in there. So by making that folder and hitting control enter, we get the new folder and we jump right into it. Very, very fun stuff. Hey, listen, if you like this type of video, fast, quick little tips, leave a comment down below. Uh, even if you don't like what you see, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane Armonroe. Take care, everybody.